Hey friends, I'm here today to show you how a few steps for makeup that uh, this weekend I went to Rochester for a girls weekend. It was super fun. But there was a few things that I noticed that a lot of my friends didn't know about and so I felt like I need to share with everybody. So today I'm going to show you how to highlight your features. It's huge in the industry for celebrities to use um, highlighting uh, pencils to uh, draw more light into those areas that we want and decrease in areas that we don't. Like if somebody has a bigger nose, I can show you ways to make it look smaller, uh, show you how to brighten around your eyes. So I'm going to start really quickly and do my eyeliner and then I'm also going to show you really quickly how to you get a smoky eye without so much shimmer. For a long time we always were using tons and tons of shimmer and um, that frosty look and now it's not so much that but using more matte. And what matte eyeshadow is going to do for you is give it just more of an open canvas, um, not settle in any of your creases if you have wrinkles. Using shimmer is absolutely a no do not do that because it's going to only bring out your wrinkles more. So I'm going to touch lightly on that really quickly. So this is going to be an action-packed makeup session. So I'm going to use my um, jelly jar, which is Jane, all, most majority of my makeup is Jane Airedale. So I have a few things that aren't, and I'll tell you similar products that Jane has. I just haven't gotten them yet. So um, this is a jelly jar, and this is the um, angle eyeliner brush and you see it's got a tilt to it and that's going to help me get more of a um, cat eye and I know that people have used liquid eyeliner and that's great too. I am just too messy for liquid eyeliner. I haven't found one yet that doesn't get all over the place. So the um, brown jelly jar I'm using and I'm using on the bottom just lightly and I'm just you see following it in and following it in and then I do a little bit on top, just in the beginning. That. I do my eyeshadows next, which sounds completely opposite. Usually majority of people do foundation and blush and then do their eyes. But I find that I get messy and so it settles all underneath my eyes and then I have to redo it right away. So I'm just going to do the eyeshadow right away and that way I can clean it up and put the foundation all over. So I'm using our Smoke and Mirrors, which was from our holiday. Um, they're going to be having something similar to it come out again in the holiday next year. But we also sell these all individually. So you can buy them anytime. So I'm going to start with um, just kind of creating a base to my eyes with the light tan. And then I'm going to go in in the corner. And in the corner where you create the V, you can use a little bit of shimmer. That's totally fine. But more of from here in, use more of a matte eyeshadow so that it's not so iridescent -y. Now, I'm all about breaking rules, so not saying I never do it where I have shimmer or anything, but for more daytime, um, I want to avoid too much shimmer going on. So, another quick trick, I get my brush wet, and that helps make the eyeshadow pigment show up a little bit darker. A little trick, so give it a shot and see what you think. So I got it wet, and I'm going to use a little bit of a um, darker burgundy color for the corner and then for the all over like I said before that I'm going to use the um, just matte tan color. So I do that all over just kind of creating a canvas for the rest of my eyeshadow. Just really quickly all over. That's it and then I'm going to take the darker color and like I said this one can have a little bit of shimmer to it if you'd like. And I go in the corner and create a V, 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 and then follow the bone around. Create a V and up and around. And you can stand back and see how it's going. Um, mine's daytime makeup, so I'm not going to make it too, too dark or anything. 
And then I take that light tan again and blend them on the top just so there's not such a line there. So that's it. Then I'm going to take, now I've got a bunch of eyeshadow underneath my eyes now because of it kind of like coming down. So I'm just going to take a big fan brush and just wipe it all down. If you for some reason feel like you've got a ton of eyeshadow underneath there, take a wet washcloth and wipe it back off and make sure you put your under eye cream on again. So after that, I'm going to take my under eye concealer, which is, um, Jane Airedale has an active light, it's called. And this was another big thing that I didn't realize people don't use, but if you've got some dark pigment underneath your eyes, you're gonna to wanna to use an under eye concealer versus a, your foundation. An under eye concealer is gonna bring light to your face where um, a, uh, your concealer is too much of your normal skin tone. So I'm going to put it underneath and you can, you can drop down, you see how far I kind of go down by the bone? And then make sure you rub it in good. So that's under eye concealer. Then I'm gonna go back through with my Pure Press Powder. It has an SPF of 18, and so it's gonna protect me from the sun. And this is all I use for my foundation. If you feel like you need more coverage, then you should use a liquid and then follow it with a powder. But I feel like I get enough coverage with this. So I just go around. I like to use the flock sponge that we have. It's just a little bit softer on my face. Otherwise, a lot of people use like a kabuki brush or ours is called a handy from Jane Airedale. And I go down to my neck just so it blends. Okay, so that is my foundation. Then after that, I'm gonna use, it's called Golden Shimmer, and it was around last year from Jane Airedale, but they're coming back with it again this summer, so that's super exciting. It adds a shimmer, it's a face and body lotion, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of it, or that much. I'm gonna put it in my hands, like lotion, but keep it on my fingers. And I'm gonna wipe it all the way around my face, and this is just gonna give it a little bit of shimmer without being too much. So it's very, very lightweight, and just adds a little bit of shine. So what's popular right now as well is contouring, and that's the other part that I wanted to tell you guys about. Um, Jane Airedale has, it's called In Touch, and that you, it comes in like a stick form like this, and you will use it in certain spots of your face to highlight features that you wanna highlight and decrease features that you don't like as well. So I like to use it on my under eye bone here. So I use it on both sides there, and just a little bit. You don't want a ton because you don't want it to look frosty or stand out so much that it doesn't blend with your foundation. So I'm gonna use it right here underneath my eye on the bone. And it's a cream, so you just rub it in. If somebody, if you have a bigger nose and you wanna decrease that feature, you can use it on the side of your nose and then make sure you rub it in and that makes your nose look more narrow. So that is the under eye. You can see it's kind of got a little bit of shimmer to it. And then I'm gonna follow it up with using some of my blush. I'm using the Cotton Candy, which it does, that also has a little bit of shimmer to it, but all of these are not too much. You wanna be careful, like I said, that was my main thing. You wanna be careful with how much shimmer you have in products. So I kind of swirl it, and then I follow your bone, your cheekbone, down. And you really can see how that shines there now. And I do one swipe across your forehead and one across your chin. Just adds a little bit more shine to it. Kind of brings it all together. Now I go back at this time with my jelly jar and redefine my eyeliner so that it makes my eyes really stand out.
and I'm very careful about too much eyeliner. Um, have you ever seen, you know, people who wear too much eyeliner, it just closes their eyes, their eyes, their eyes in, sorry, and you want to bring them out, you want them to stand out. Unless you've got big eyes and you want to bring them in, then you're going to want to use more eyeliner, but I want to bring my eye, pop my eyes out, so um, I am making a little bit of a wing at the end so that it just makes them stand out a little bit. And then I just make sure it blends. Look at everything and make sure it blends. Last thing is you can color in your eyebrows. Um, we have a call it's a bitty brow kit, and that just makes your eyebrows look nice and full. Uh, I use some, I'm all about reusing products. So I'm actually going to use my jelly jar and just lightly go in with my eyeliner that I just used on my eyebrows and fill them in. I kind of go from the outside inward and then take a, sorry, take my brush and just comb them nicely and then follow with mascara. And you can do just the tops for something a little bit different if you just want to make the tops fan out. Um, that's, and that's what I'm going to do today just for something fun and different is avoid the bottom and just do the top. And going in a W motion back and forth helps it make go, helps it make it go on a little bit nicer. And that's it. So here he goes, great tips, quick and easy. Um, I will list what I used so that in case you're like, what was that that she used? I will write it all down in the um, blog and, or on Facebook, and that way you can stop by and pick some up. Have a great day. Thanks.